what do ECB model investigators look for? Have you ever wondered what happens when the ECB sends in their model investigators? Think of them as the detectives of the financial world, diving deep into the international models banks are using to measure risk. But what are they looking for? I'm not going to go into too much detail, but high level, uh, they will be looking for a handful of things, half a dozen things, right? The first thing they always look for is model validation and accuracy. So as you can imagine, the investigators will check if the bank's model are actually doing what they are claiming to be doing, meaning accurately estimating risk. So they will backtest the models, they will benchmark them against the industry standards, if there is some, and they will make sure that they are up to par. Secondly, there is the generic bucket of governance and documentation. So if there is a strong governance framework covering these models, are they well documented? Do they have uh, ever assumptions, methods and limitations clearly laid out? Yes or no. And why are they looking for that? They are looking for transparency and controls. Then another critical uh, step, and that's not just for model, that's for everything within the risk world is data quality. So the key question and the old adage is garbage in, garbage out. So one of the key areas we will look for is whether the data feeding all of those models are accurate, consistent and reliable. And just as important, how the bank is managing the data governance practice for the data quality. So the front to back flows uh, across. Then if we take a step backwards, one of the things they will look for is the model risk management. That's one of the other key focus. And it's about how does the bank identify and handle the risks that are coming from using these models. So the investigators, they will be looking for stress testing, for scenario analysis. So basically any tools that would show that the bank is prepared for the worst case scenario. Another part which is uh, highly critical is the model change process. So as models are not static, they're evolving depending on the latest uh, strategy change internally, but also on the latest regulation. So the investigators are going to look uh, closely at how these changing are being validated, documented, and whether they remain compliant with the latest regulation. Finally, speaking of regulations, regulatory compliance is a big one, right? Investigators will ensure that the models meet all the regulatory standards, inclusive of the Basel guidelines, and if there is any shortcoming, the banks better have a plan to fix them. Overall, as you see, the investigators are looking for any flaws within the model itself, the governance around the model, or the data being used in the model.